Hey guys, Helvetica here, and today I have kind of a different video for you. I'm going to show you how to check if you have a bad fuel pump in your car. So let's get into it. So the first thing to do would be obviously a very simple test. Um, so we come over here to the car, we're going to come over here, we're going to take our key, put it in the ignition. Don't turn the key yet. What you're going to want to do here is pop open the gas cap. Come over here. Remove the gas cap over here. And have a friend listen, put their ear up to this, while you turn the key to the on position. I'm going to turn the key right now. As you can see, nothing happened. This car has a bad fuel pump. But let's say um, that you, you don't know that the car has a bad fuel pump yet, and that didn't make any noise. Some cars, like this car, don't actually prime the fuel pump. The fuel pump won't buzz when you turn the key to the on position. You have to be cranking the car. Now obviously I can crank the car on this car and it won't start because it does have a bad fuel pump. Now just because you don't hear the fuel pump prime doesn't mean that the fuel pump is bad. If we come over here and look into the engine bay over here, if you remove the fuse box on this Mazda 626 right here, um, the fuse box is next to the battery on the right side of the engine bay, it has a diagram under the fuse box lid. And the fuel pump relay in this specific car is titled circuit relay. I don't know why they didn't just put fuel pump relay, but it is circuit relay. One thing you can do to test this is put your finger on the relay while someone turns the key. If you stay here and record this while I turn the key, you should be able to hear the relays click when I put the key in the ignition. As you heard there, multiple relays clicked. Now on this Mazda 626, when you turn the key over, the relay will also click while you crank the car because that's when the fuel pump primes in this car. Now, the relay does not click if you don't feel the little click on your finger down here when someone turns the key to the on position or cranks the car, your relay may be bad. You can pull the relay out here and obviously these relay relays, you can't really check. I mean this relay is a good relay um, and the, we know the fuel pump is bad in this car. But what you can do is say, here we have the horn relay. If you look at over here, we can pull the horn relay out and put it in the circuit relay. And if the fuel pump still doesn't prime, then we know it's not the relay. Or you can take the fuel pump relay and put it in the horn and then try to honk the horn. That way you know that the uh, fuel pump relay is good and still acting as it should, as the horn still is able to operate. Because if we pull it out, then the horn won't work. But if we put the relay back in, obviously it will. Now another way you can check to make sure it's the fuel pump is if you take this this uh, tube that goes into the air box here off of the throttle body and spray a little bit of starter fluid or gas in there or this vacuum hose here and the car starts up you can be pretty certain that you that it is your fuel pump along with after checking the relay and fuses also down here this car does have a EGI injection which is uh, the fuel injection system and the fuel pump I think right here is this pink fuse if that fuse is split, you should you do want to replace that before you end up replacing your fuel pump. So check the fuses and relays, spray some starter fluid into the throttle body or vacuum hose here, and um, if the relays are good and the car starts when starter fluid is in there and you don't hear the fuel pump prime, you can be pretty certain that it's your fuel pump. Now also, before replacing the fuel pump, you do want to check the fuses either on the driver's side or the passenger side. In this case, on this Mazda 626 2000, V6, it's on the driver's side here. And also, your ECU could also be the culprit if you did something that you weren't supposed to. As you can see down here, we're looking for a melted wire in this car. What happened with this car was someone had taken the battery cables off while the car was running to check the alternator. You are never supposed to do that. Do not disconnect the battery while the car is running. That can cause thousands of dollars in damage or even total the car. One last word here for you guys, uh, thank you so much for watching the video, please leave a like so other people can see it, and also I just wanted to make clear, if you have an access hole in your vehicle, um, it would usually be under the rear seat cushion, there should be some clips, if you reach your hand under the seat that just pop off, well that's how it is in the Mazda 626, and you should be able to remove the rear seat cushion, and there should be an access hole. You just pop open the access hole, there should be around 6 to 10 bolts or screws that hold in the fuel pump harness. You remove the fuel pump harness, be careful not to break the sock off or anything like that. I recommend looking up a video uh, for your specific model of car, because I, I, I'm not going to make a video on doing that. As in this car, you have to drop the whole tank to replace the fuel pump. And in a lot of cars, that is what you have to do. Drop the tank, which is unfortunate. 
And the reason we may, uh, we put gas or starter fluid into the throttle body to see if the car starts is to also make sure that it's a fuel problem. If your car still doesn't start, you could have loss of spark. Say you do hear your fuel pump prime and uh, your relays are good, your car still doesn't start. It may not be a fuel problem, but a spark problem or a computer problem or something like that. You do want to check for spark before doing any of this. Don't take my word for it. Always get a second opinion. Watch another video. This is just a video uh, to show you how to quickly test your fuel pump relays, uh, to listen if your fuel pump is running, and all that kind of stuff. So if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped some of you guys figure out you know, if your relay was bad or you know, just gave, gave you some gave you a second opinion maybe. Maybe you watched the video before this one and now you're pretty sure that it's your fuel pump. Anyways, whatever the case, thank you for watching. Have a great day.